API Sign, Source Inspector Rotating Equipment, Module 1, Basic Facts. In this module, you shall learn about our e-learning services and benefits, know about API certification in general and API Sign in particular, how to apply and what you should expect on exam day. Why us? We may you may appreciate the fact that API wants to verify your understanding of the topics and hence the exam questions are mostly rephrased and given in the context of a scenario. We shall provide you with all the knowledge and information you need to know in order to pass the API SIRE exam. We shall explain the concepts and where necessary. We shall elaborate by giving examples and pictures. We shall provide you with flashcards for quick reference. We shall highlight areas that are potential exam questions. We shall also provide you with three sets of mock exam questions that are specifically designed in line with the spirit of API exam questions. Our course editors are all qualified API site inspectors as well as experienced inspection engineers who have edited the course based on the latest revision of study material, who have years of industry experience, and many have passed the exam for the past three years, so they are fairly up to date. Our course content goes through seven checkpoints to ensure that it is easy to understand, focused on the body of knowledge, and is in line with ISO 29990T, learning services for non-formal education and training so you know what you are expected to learn at the end of each module. Your study plan can be based on four different leads to help you understand what type of questions to expect during the exam. These are API side reference materials, C module 2 or API side body of knowledge, 2 experience of other candidates who attempted the exam, 3 mock exam question C module 21 and four exam score reports showing the study areas versus number of questions. Module 2. Regardless of which study plan you wish to take or which training course you opt for, these leads shall help you focus your efforts and use them as a pulse check to ensure that you are on the right track. You can start the self study by obtaining the reference study materials and crack on. Obviously, you would save money, but instead may be prone to make some silly mistakes that can cost you the success in the API side exam that you rightfully deserve to pass. Mr. Chance to review our latest question bank, a real API score sheet. Miss those key points and potential exam questions presented by our team of course instructors in the form of flashcards plus missing the all important concepts that we offer to make your life easier right from the beginning in the form of 20 sets of e-learning course models. Approach and study plan is also important. If you merely memorize the facts and figures without fully understanding the concepts, there is a still high chance of getting the answer wrong because API exam questions are often rephrased. In other words, API questions do not use statements from quotes and recommended practices word by word, except for day-to-day -day routine information that an inspector is expected to know. API calls this type of question as practical question or awareness type of questions. API wants to verify your understanding of concepts on how you use the recommended practices, codes, and standards to perform as a source inspector of rotating equipment. You can choose our training package that has the advantage of explaining core principles and concepts while our flashcards and mock exam questions are in line with the actual API SAR exam question aimed at helping you understand the concepts and how to apply them and how to handle the trick question. We shall explain all the topics in sufficient detail so the course would benefit all candidates with any level of knowledge and expertise. That is, the less experienced candidates will learn the basics while the more experienced candidates could refresh their knowledge. Our training approach helps you solve any relevant question within any context and scenario since you would be capturing the concept, principle and the theory 
rather than memorizing some numbers or facts without understanding the underlying reason for how it is applied. We do not claim that our e-learning course is the only option to pass the exam, nor we claim that our course would entirely substitute studying API style study material. However, we do claim being one of the best API e-learning training provider because we shall explain a the A to Z of registering, preparing, and attending the API SIRE exam, explain terms and definitions in an easy to understand format, complete with pictures, provide you with sufficient explanations so no matter what is your level of knowledge in each topic, you shall have the complete information and knowledge to pass the exam, explain API SIRE in an easy to understand and comprehensive way, and also highlight the area where potential question may come by either highlighting potential exam question or presenting them in flashcard. Provide you with ample pictures and PowerPoint presentations. Provide you with three sets of mock exam in line with API exam question. Support you through a chat line where you can ask any questions from our instructors. How to apply. API examinations are divided into two main groups, core exam, 510, 570, 653, and non-core exam, others including API science. All API examinations are held three times a year, and each API certification has a three-week window that you should choose from at the time of registration. The three-week windows for year 2022 Three for API side are March 10 to March 31, July 14 to August 4, and November 3 to 24 of 2023. The exam fee is $415. After registering and obtaining the exam authorization approval from API, your three week exam window is frozen. You can only select the location, date, and time at a prometric test center. Seats are limited your preferred prometric location so select the date and time as soon as you can because slots prometric center are reserved on first come and first serve basis please note that prometric is subcontracted by api to hold the computer-based examination to apply for the exam register a free account with api icp using below link apply this takes you straight away to the application for API exam. This link. You shall normally receive the API authorization within three to four days. After your references verified, your experience in this case, uh, you don't need because API does not require any uh, pre-qualification. Within the API authorization email, there is a link to Prometric and you can where you can select the exam center, date, and time slot. Select your time slot as soon as you have received the authorization as seats filling quickly. There are more than 3,000 prometric test centers across 160 countries worldwide to choose from. All prometric test centers operate on a first-come, first-served basis. Therefore, API cannot promise that you will be able to obtain a seat at a or book a slot at your preferred location. A API in collaboration with Prometric offers a remote proctoring option where you can attend this exam from the comfort of your home or office. To know more, please click on the link below remote exam. And it's basically when you apply, you can choose in person or remote proctoring and then uh, once the link comes in, uh, so you only choose the time and date because it's remote, so the location is not important. It's uh, highly recommended that you schedule your exam immediately after receiving your exam authorization notice. Email from API. If she's not available, try a different date within the same window or choose another location. Please note that during Registering with API, you are required to select one of the available three weeks time window. Once the exam window is selected, you cannot change it, which means you can only attempt the exam within the selected three week window unless you decide to reschedule and pay the fees, which is as good as failing the exam. Remember, no show, failure to book a seat, 
with probiotic including inability to book a seat at your preferred test center is as good as failing the exam itself. If you receive your approval too late, you may not be able to find a suitable exam slot or worse, you might not be able to find any available slot at all with your favorite prometric test center within the allocated three week window. Therefore, it is recommended that you register and get your API approval around two to three months prior to the scheduled exam. You can change the location and date up to 30 days before the last day of the test window free of charge and between five to 29 days for a fee of 70 US dollars subject to availability. Normally, it's possible to change the time and location for API site. API gives each candidate 12 consecutive months to pass an exam beginning from the first scheduled test window. This means you can attempt an exam for a maximum of four consecutive times and pay a rescheduling fee of $150. If you do not pass the exam within a year for any reason such as exam failure, uh, fail to schedule the exam, no show up at the scheduled date, etc. You have to apply all over again and pay the full initial fee, $415. API certification, SIRE, recertification, rescheduling, and cost. API SIRE certification is valid for a three year term and the term exam costs $415. Rescheduling costs you. 150 US dollar. After three years, you need to apply for recertification, demonstrating that you still work as an API inspector for 20% of the time. Recertification costs $315. You may apply for recertification 90 days prior to the certificate expiration date and up to 90 days after the expiry of your certificate, subject to a late application fee of $115. If an application is not made within the 90 day grace period, your certificate will expire. A new application of fee must be submitted and you will need to pass a full examination in order to be recertified. API inspectors are required to take an online open book quiz every six years in order to keep their certification renewed. The six year recertification quiz has 25 questions and address the changes in the relevant API standards over the past six years. You have a total of four hours to complete the quiz and may be paused or interrupted up to three times. If you fail the quiz once, you can take it again. If you fail the quiz a second time, you will not be able to recertify it, so you should submit a fresh application and a full version of exam in order to be recertified again. If you fail the initial exam, you need to request rescheduling and pay $150 for re-examination. After requesting for rescheduling and paying the fee, you shall receive the approval letter via email within a day or two. Then book with Prometric as soon as possible. Slot. Remember, you have one year from date of your exam to pass which entitles you to maximum four tests. Exam day. Make sure you reach the parametric test center at least half an hour before the scheduled time. If you reach the test center 15 minutes after the scheduled exam, they may refuse to admit you. Prior to letting you in to sit for the exam, they shall check your photographic government issued ID, such as a valid and driving license, ask you to sign in, check you with a metal detector, ask you to turn up your sleeve, check your pockets, look at your reading glass to ensure it doesn't have any camera, ask you a security question, date of birth, email address, and take your picture. You cannot carry anything with you except a bottle of water, no ornaments allowed except a wedding ring, and uh, you should leave all your personal belongings in a locker that they provide you, and they also shall they supply you with a couple of a4 size papers and pencil and a pocket calculator for taking notes and any calculation that you may need. You are required to have a valid government issued photo ID such as a passport driving license and keep it with yourself during the examination. If you don't produce a government issued photo ID or the ID is not valid, it's treated as a no-show which is as good as failing the exam. So make sure that it is valid.
during API 650 exam on our candidates had an expired driving license and was refused entry. He returned half an hour later, but it is a, a valid password. But as a result, uh, he was refused entry because they said he was too late. And so he had to reschedule, pay $300 and uh, appear six months later. So it's highly recommended that you have uh, make sure that your photo ID is valid and as a plan B carry two uh, like a passport on a driving and a driving license together because it's simply not worth it to be refused for an ID issue after all the time, effort and money you're putting. Um, prior to the exam, they shall give the key to a locker and you, where you have to keep all your belongings. Not allowed to use the locker until you complete the exam. Immediately after completion of the exam, you should receive an email notifying you whether you have um, passed or failed. And this is called preliminary pass, which normally is a pay pass, marginal, uh, 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 marginal result, which is too close to call, a preliminary fail, which is a normal yeah, fail. You should have received the uh, you will confirm the score up to eight weeks after your exam and takes another six to eight weeks to receive your wallet card and certification although you can also print your wallet card and certification the minute you receive your confirmed score from the your account the pass mark is roughly 70 percent minimum 400 on a maximum scale of 500 for all api examination no negative marking is applied, therefore answer all the questions. At the end, click the review all button and peruse through the list to ensure that you have not skipped any question. You can challenge any question you may wish by writing on his caption or comment sheet, but remember that this is the time allocated to you and it's coming from your time. It's not going. The minute the exam starts, the clock starts ticking and the time will not stop. After ID verification, security check, and letting you to the exam room, you go first. You go through the tutorial that should take maximum ten minutes, or if you end it earlier, and it tells you about the buttons, uh, how the buttons work at the, during the exam, and what facility you got, and you can always, for example, see the remaining time at the top right-hand corner of the computer screen. And remember that if you wish to leave the exam room during the exam for any reason, like drinking water or, or, or you want to use the toilet, it's coming off your time. And uh, you have to take your ID with you, check out. And, and then at the check-in, they will also again do ID verification and let you in. So during all this time, it's coming off your time. Sitting for exam can be stressful, so try to have enough sleep the night before on the exam day, so just peruse to the important parts of reference documents and figures and charts for a couple of hours maximum, let your brain rest. You need to be alert and full of energy to endure the exam. Uh, so remember that your exam is not concluded until your time is up or you press the end exam or finish section button. You shall see the list of attempted and attempted questions at the end by pressing the review all button. This would ensure that you have not left any question unanswered. There is a frequently asked question here uh, that you can press this link and go to parametric frequently asked question. There is also this tutorial that you should see at the exam. And this is a link when you click on this, it takes you to the tutorial that you see at the exam. And this will automatically finish after 10 minutes or you end it earlier. Icons are simple and friendly. Remember, you can flag off questions you are not sure of, so you can return to them during the remaining time. You can also right click on selected answers to eliminate them. If you are confident they are definitely the wrong answer, that will narrow down the possible right answer and therefore increase your chances of getting the right answer. You can either review all the questions once again, review the flagged of question only during any remaining time left. You can see the remaining time on the upper right hand corner of the screen. There are a few good tutorials in API ICP website. Remember that the clock does not stop for any reason once you start the test. The allocated time, if you use it wisely, it's sufficient to answer all the under 10 questions. Thank you.